and this battle stats wilmers they've done so well in the preliminary round stage these two teams and now we have a match filled with quality players leger yeah most definitely and a lot of familiar players also both of these teams harboring expectations of going much further than the round of 16 but over the past couple of times that we've seen both of these teams duel it has been St. Andrew Technical who have been the superior team Wilmers will be looking to get that right and get their season even more right going forward yep as uh, they're out to the middle now and they'll greet each other shortly but uh, what a prospect we have here with these two teams stats in recent years they've they've been such a consistent contingent in uh, making it through to the last four they've been to the final on a couple of occasions but they haven't yet seen the top prize they haven't seen it in quite a few decades in fact and uh, wilmers under jerome wait they're hoping to go as far as they possibly can uh, this year and the question is how far we do see a, a lot of familiar faces in both the stats and wilmers team so we know that these two sides they do have a, a lot of experience Leger. as we take a look at the officials romaro francis is the man in the middle jermaine page and jermaine page will assist him and Doreen, here is that bib. the fourth official is that carvel banton we're just going to confirm that for you in just a little while the officials for today's game what we can confirm to you though is the starting lineup of St. Andrew Technical, in particular the outstanding Jaheim Williams between the sticks. They're expected to have a back three of Alex Xavier Gooden, Keno Levy, and J. Lloyd Smith in the middle of the park. Kenada Gordon, Kalonji, Watson, Ashitai Marshall, who has 11 goals and five assists this season, and Dwayne Atkinson up top on the left, Giovanni Douglas on the right. Kevin Hall with uh, 11 uh, goal involvements this season and uh, with 11 goal involvements this season as well as Christiana Brown down the middle. Yeah, a lot of familiar faces as you mentioned, Donald. Actually, eight members of the St. Andrew Technical team returning from last season. They'll be looking to imprint themselves, do even better than they did last season. The Walker Cup final is from a year ago. As we take a look at the starting lineup of uh, this Wilmers team, Yuri Yusim between Yuji, Yuri Dryden between the sticks, Daniel Scarlett, David Morris, Daquan Duhaney, Dimitri Jackson, Alex Wright, Adam Day, Stephen Ramdeen, DeAndre Reed, Carl Samuels, and Benjamin Griffith complete the starting lineup. Also expecting a back three, seeing that it is a Jerome Wade coach team. A lot of exciting flair and as Kimani ably mentioned, they have some serious attacking talent in their ranks. Dequan Duhaney, nine goals, 13 assists in the first round. He'll be looking to continue this form. Alex Wright there that you saw on your screen not too long ago. Younger brother of Jason Wright, former national under 17 and under 20 player. He's been doing pretty well as well this season. 13 goals to his name. A lot for St. Andrew Technical to keep out. But they have their attacking threat as well. And we're off. On the way here at the National Stadium East Field. And uh, immediately a collision there that will require some attention off the bench possibly. Yep. Signal now by the referee. It was actually Duhaney trying to race through there, and it was a wild challenge, in all honesty, coming through. Just 13 seconds into the game, that one. Really hefty collision over there on the left wing. Wilma's looking for the fast start. Here it is again really really wild challenge and i think maybe if it was a little bit later in the contest and not the first action 
a card or even more would have been brandished. Keno Levy, the St. Andrew technical defender flying in. Both players up on their feet now though and seemingly okay. There's a St. Andrew technical head coach, Philip Williams, has been here since 2017. Last season, the first that his team did not get to the semi-final. He'll be looking to fix that this season. But I suppose the primary goal is to go all the way, right? As opposed to just fixing being in the final four because they have been used to it in previous seasons. Yeah, they have been the Manning Cups nearly men. Big chance here for Wilmot to start the game, though. Yeah, Dimitri Jackson is behind this one. And there it is, lofted inside the air. That's a good cross. Oh, trying to get on the end of that one was Adam Day. And uh, I think he collided with the post as well. The, I think also the flag went up for offside. But what an opportunity that was. Yeah, he was centimeters away from that one. Well worked free kick and coasting in at that back post. It was the post that he collided with in the end. Yeah, it was Scarlett who actually drove that one inside the box. Both teams trying to settle in this one as Tats looking to, to launch something here. Douglas couldn't quite find his skipper there in Delaney White, but it's one back by Stats, turned inside. Looking for an additional yard of space, which wasn't forthcoming for Atkinson. And the Wilmers going the other way. They'll try to settle on it, Wilmers. Swept out wide. Oh, what a wonderful ball that is. Day on it. Ball inside. Good strong hand from Williams. Not clear properly. Here's the shot off the bar. It came in from Scarlett. And the resulting effort is over the top. But Scarlett with a big chance for Wilmers. And the woodwork was in the way. What a start we've had here. Second round and this game off to a blistering start. Beautiful pass from Dehaney. And Day serving this one up. Some chaos initially and so close was Scarlett. Jaheim Williams coating his lucky stars that he and his St. Andrew technical team are not one goal down in this contest. Here they come again, Wilmers. And uh, Scarlett has been busy so far this afternoon. And he'll be pleased with the start. Jerome Waite, the man at the helm at uh, Woolmer's Boys, did win trophies with Charlie Smith. But now this program is with Woolmer's at the high school level. Here comes that. Good coverage there from Daquan Duhaney showing his industry in helping out defensively. See Andrew Technical trying to calm this game down a bit in their favor, but it's some frantic defensive work from Wilmers. Your stats again, Douglas. Swing so inside to Atkinson. Late challenge coming in on Atkinson. Referee wanting to play the advantage, and Atkinson will get up shortly. Levy trying to send it out wide and uh, the game will pause for a bit as it's a throw in to stats yeah, it's been frantic so far and the first yellow card of the game is actually brandished to Daquan Duhaney for his late challenge a bit surprised that he didn't just get a talking to but First name in the book for the Wilmers number seven. 22 goal contributions, as I mentioned earlier this campaign. Mark again, mark again, keep it tight. 
did actually get some contact, was really late. So, well, trying to go through the gears that time was Douglas couldn't beat his marker. Adonte keeping his footing, but ball just leaving him at the last minute. Potent front three that Wilmers has. Scarlett, oh, lovely first touch. And that uh, dinks it into the path of his striker, who does so well, Daquan Duaney. What a start for him. But what a delightful ball that was from Scarlett. It split open the stats defense. And Duaney getting his 10th goal of the season. A fabulous finish, cool. And Wilmers with the early lead over stats. You could most definitely tell that he's been scoring this season, the calmness he took that chance with, but it was this beautiful assist from Scarlett. The composure to get past his man, then the composure to play this deft pass right into the path of Duquan Duhaney. And with his left boot, he calmly slotted that one into the corner of the net. And this Wilmers High School team, so calm in their finishing. But they've been really at it in this game, and they definitely deserve this lead. Well, what a start here for Wilmers. How will stats respond? And you know, Donald, we were speaking about how many returning players we have in for both teams, and I think that would play into the mind of Wilmers as say Andrew Technical go forward, it's cleared. But I think that would play into the minds of both teams seeing that just last season in the Walker Cup semi-final, both of these teams faced off and say Andrew Technical really mopped the floor with this Wilmers team, a 3-0 win in favor of St. Andrew Technical. Wilmers obviously with 12 players returning, they know they want to really fix things a rest. What was an embarrassing performance on the day? Yeah, they probably call themselves the Avengers for today just to avenge that loss in the World Cup. Ball slipped through again, but too far. Too far in front of uh, Alex Wright on that occasion. But here, yeah, Wilmers. Both teams have come out to play, to be honest with you. But just that bit of quality from Wilmers separating the teams at the moment. J. Lloyd Smith. Not a bad first touch. Second touch was also there, but he goes down Atkinson and the referee belatedly coming to, into the fray and asking for assistance from the bench and the yellow card is shown. Second for Wilmers already. Mm -hmm. This one going to Dimitri Jackson. Looks as if there's a bit of studs involved in that challenge. Here we see it again. Yeah, that's going to be a sore one. Yellow card confirmation. Jackson goes into the referee's book. Wilmers seemingly first to everything in these opening 10 minutes. <laughs> right on cue from coach Philip Williams. He knows that his team have been second best to start this contest. Well, let's see if that's the cue for them to start the game. The free kick dinked inside the area. No issues there for Yuri Dryden. I think we're going to see a, long of those, a lot of those long passes from Dryden in the Wilmers goal today. Hopefully for him, it's a little bit more accurate. Yeah, he actually has two assists this season. Mm -hmm. The goalkeeper, so clearly adept with his distribution. 
I have a feeling he have to be a, he'll have to be adept with his hands as well. Yep. Douglas touched inside. Ball sent across the area in a dangerous area. In, close to the penalty spot, in fact. Wilma still trying to clear their lines. And Stats will recycle it. Here they are. Striding forward. Trying to sieve that one through. Ajitai Marshall. Hall inside to Atkinson. Was looking to give Hall the return pass. Good now picks it up. Some really experienced heads at the back for St. Andrew Technical in this game. Atkinson striding forward again, trying to slip that one through. Here's a shot from distance, deflected and in. Stats they get the equalizer. And yeah, they've now come out to play. But poor Yuri Dryden in goal could do nothing about that deflection. And we are back level in this one. Yeah, it was Kenarda Gordon who fired one in. And that deflection completely wrong footed Dryden in the Woolmer's net. I don't think he realized what happened until it hit the back of the net. You can see here, completely wrong footed. Off his own off his own teammate, so. It might not even be a known goal. Kenada okay, Brown is celebrating it, but I think that one will actually go to a St. Andrew Technical player, another St. Andrew Technical player. And Wilmers, after starting this game so well, find themselves level again. The opening 13 minutes of the second round in the Manning Cup has certainly delivered. Well, I think it's going to be awarded to Cristiano Brown, you know, who, who was on the edge of the box, came off him. So... I suppose he'll get the ninth, his ninth goal of the season. Yeah, denying Kenarda Brown his first. Yeah, well adjusted. I don't think he knows too much about it, not, not, to be honest. Nothing at all. <laughs> but I suppose he was right not to get too involved in the celebration. Although it is a team sport. And stats, they have responded. It's a good game so far. And the conditions, well, overcast at the moment. And there is a, a strong wind blowing across the ground. So it's not as warm as it was half an hour ago in fact there is a threat of rain but let's see if that will actually stay away for this afternoon no issues there for Jaheim Williams Douglas was trying to flick it on, but you can see stats growing with confidence here. Two Wilmers players actually had to exit the field not too long ago to remove their tights on the referee's orders. Adan Day, one of them, but nonetheless, here come. See Andrew Technical well intercepted. Yep. But Wilmer's almost got the interception. Here they come again. Douglas touched inside. Out wide. White's ball inside the area. They had to handle the bouncing ball, the Wilmer's defense. 
Referee almost got involved here. Ball sent back out wide to Douglas. Douglas again inside. Couldn't find a teammate. Good header out. Poor pass out wide though. And uh, yeah. Gooden should have done a little bit better with that one. Experience at the Premier League level, Alex Xavier Gooden. Yeah, I was about to say that two of the St. Andrew Technical, two of their back three have experience at the Premier League level with Cavalier. The J. Lloyd Smith, of course, being the other, but couldn't seem to be around for a long time. Remember when he was playing when, at the Manning Cup, when he was, what, 14, 15? A couple seasons ago. And you couldn't even tell. No. Such the quality and especially the size of him. Certainly seems a very skillful player, Daniel Scarlett. Oh, yeah. He certainly needs to get more involved as... Gooden coming forward, showing his quality now. The release out wide to Kevin Hall. Hall with the ball out wide. Douglas will collect. Has some space to operate in. Gets by one. Sends it across. And it's put away. But the flag is up. The flag goes up. Good interplay by the wingers. But he just trade into an offside position. And Woolmer's trying to respond immediately. Over on the far side, trying to get by a third, but he was clattered into the goal scorer. Daquan Duaney. Stays down while the play continues. Stats looking to respond. Challenge coming in was illegal. Free kick awarded to Stats. Referee just now being made aware of the situation. And Duaney is holding his head. He's expected to get some help from the bench. Yeah. Wondering how that wasn't a foul. Certainly a swipe. The end-to-end -end nature of this game continues. We'd love to see that offside goal again because it was actually some lovely play from St. Andrew Technical going from wing to wing, as you said. Certainly frantic has been the adjective to describe this contest so far. It's a, it's a good movement initially from Gooden out of the heart of the defense. Found that Hall would have been out wide. And then look at the switch of play. Douglas did well. Beat his marker. Yeah, he did stray into an outside position, didn't he? And it really would have been a lovely, lovely goal. I believe it was doing Atkinson stealing in at the back post. Yeah, but some wonderful involvement from the wingers, something that Jerome Waite would note as opposition. Certainly seems pretty relaxed so far in this game. Well, he's not one ready to show panic, Jerome Waite. <laughs> Especially with all his years of experience, I suppose he's seen every scenario before. But after all of that, it's going to be a free kick in a pretty dangerous area for St. Andrew Technical. Expecting a delivery from their captain, Delaney White. No, 
here's a free kick coming in and uh, could have been awkward there for Yuri Dryden collecting it on the bounce Dryden sends it out long miscommunication between day and right there Alex Wright not too involved so far in this game no issues there for Dryden moving off his line and getting there early Stats with the throw coming up. Yeah, Gooden's going to go long here. Lots of bodies inside the box. Here's another opportunity. And here is the effort coming in. And uh, Marshall just struck it straight to Dryden. His hands had to be short though, Dryden. And they were. Must be said since the words of Philip Williams on the bench his team have certainly been the better one must have been called for a switch though because they really have turned it on since he beckoned for them to actually start the game I suppose such is the command and the authority he wears He personally has gotten the better of Wilmers on a couple of occasions in big games. It's not only the Walker Cup semi-final of last season that is St. Andrew Technical team won 3-0 over Wilmers, but also the Manning Cup semi-final of 2019, which St. Andrew Technical won by three goals to two. Of course, St. Andrew Technical went on to lose that Manning Cup final to Jamaica College. really are the nearly men of urban area schoolboy football but Wilmots are looking to reclaim past glory and there's a ball to the edge of the box that should have been a better delivery yeah, that free kick I was about to say could be a little bit of a ray of hope but it wasn't due to the delivery Wilmots looking to try and impose themselves on the game yet again they don't have the same enthusiastic enthusiasm that they had at the start of the game but uh, to be fair stats have been a little bit more imposing haven't really had it their own way since those early minutes I guess Sanaja Technical showing their experience in this matter they Looking for a call didn't go his way. DeAndre Reed sends it out wide and uh, challenge coming in. Gooden did well. Lays it off inside. Picked up by Marshall. Marshall trying to send it out to the right hand side. No success there. But they'll start against St. Andrew Technical. Wilma's really not 
building any attacks like they did in the first 10 minutes. Mm. Kyle Samuels under some pressure, last touch of him. Paul takes a throw himself, looking for Atkin Atkinson. Not the most convincing clearance that, but Douglas inside to his captain, White, plays it through, and the flag goes up for offside against Christiana Brown. That's a lovely turn from Douglas. Still an opportunity, but the whistle goes. Handled ball in that situation. Hasn't been on the ball for a while there. Dwayne. Trying to get right involved and right was in an offside position White. Oh, that's a delightful ball to Giovanni Douglas. Douglas trying to send it further inside. Here's an opportunity. Again, delicate touch out wide. But that pass wasn't quite as delicate. And it's gone into touch. Yeah, the final touch letting Hall down after what was a very enterprising St. Andrew technical attack. Douglas inside. Here he is. Ball played inside the area. It's a dangerous looking ball, but Cole, some way away from goal, couldn't quite generate the power. Woolmer's hopeful ball over the top. Skewed clearance. Corniki coming up. Ball to the back post, headed and <laughs> still trying to clear. Williams calls for it and then couldn't punch it out. And the whistle goes. And what's happening here? Keeper is down. And I think he speared his blushes a bit. Flapped at that one, Jaheim Williams. Not what we've grown to expect from him over the past couple of seasons. Really should have done better here. I think it maybe was a collision with his own player, but not too much in that one, I think. No. If anything at all. I agree with you. I think it's pretty fortunate there. 
goalkeeper. Usually when a goalkeeper goes down, he's given the benefit of the doubt from the referee. But that set piece gave Wilmers a little bit of hope of how they can get back into this game in terms of the flow of play. So free kick is going to be coming up. As uh, we take a look at the two goals in this one. That was a wonderful ball from Scarlett, you know. And Duaney in the early in this match getting his 10th of the season. And then the equalizer. Shot coming in from di distance, but the deflection was a wicked one off Cristiano Brown. His own teammates, that's where level in this one. Kenara Gordon with a shot from distance. Wilmers looking for the go-ahead goal now. Trying to showcase a bit of skill. And the free kick goes in his favor. Remember to download the Sportsmax app today from the Google Play or the App Store. Another opportunity beckons now for Wilmers boys. It's going to be the creative Daniel Scarlett to whip this one in with his left. Based on what we've seen from Jaheim Williams so far, a good delivery could really test him here. And Wilmers have loaded the box, I think around six players there. Scarlett's delivery, usually top notch. Decides to go goalwards and Williams couldn't hold on yet. Looking a little bit off color this afternoon. Jaheim Williams. Clearly frustrated with himself. It was a relatively simple ball to claim. Went for that near post, Scarlett. And he will be the one whipping this corner in. Here it comes again at the near post and gone over the top. Williams still remonstrating with himself. Did hear a fan earlier today saying that if there was anyone from the current stats setup that they would put in either a Barcelona or Real Madrid team, it would have been Jaheim Williams. They believe in his quality. And he has showed it on quite a few occasions over the last couple of seasons. Has been pretty reliable this season as well. St. Andrew Technical only conceding three goals before this game, now four. Here's an opportunity here for Wilmers. Oh, that's wonderful stuff. Williams with the spill and the follow-up. Pull across the line. They go ahead again. Williams has had a last couple of minutes to forget in goal. And Wilmers, they regain the lead here at the National Stadium Eastfield. And in the end, touched across the line by Alex Wright. Yep, in the right place at the right time. Hasn't been too involved in this game, Alex Wright, but right on cue, he ghosted in at that back post. Wasn't too sure if this Adan Day follow-up was going in. I don't think it was. But Jaheim Williams again. I was about to say he wasn't sure-footed. He wasn't sure-handed in saving that one. And he really has played his team into trouble because for the past 20 minutes or so, St. Andrew Technical have been the superior team. But a couple of shaky moments over the last couple of minutes have really gifted Wilmers away back into this game. And following that, the Kwan Duhaney drive and shot, Wilmers have taken the lead yet again through Alex Wright, 14th of the season. It's a really good game, isn't it, Donald? Yeah, it's a really good game, actually. Just got back into life with about 10 minutes to go in the first half. Sancho Technical, they do look vulnerable at the back. But we really don't expect that from Williams and company at the back. Yeah, right before the goal, I was saying that they only had conceded three goals coming into this game. And the way things are going, they might match that 
this afternoon. But it is the second round, it is the round of 16. They are playing higher quality opposition. And speaking of higher quality, here's the Kwan Duhaney who has been quite enterprising to start the game. Yep, he has been. So to Scarlett with his deliveries. And Stats will have to respond again. But they have to defend right now. Tried to slip that one through for Adan Day, but not accurate. And here is Alex Xavier Gooden. This game is stopped. Yeah, tried to need some assistance. Going to assume that's a bit of a tactical stoppage. Well, several conversations going on along the sidelines here. <laughs> I'm not sure why the referee has come across to Jerome Wade. Jaheim Williams is also getting some attention as well. of a drizzle has started now. You know, it's so important for goalkeepers, goalkeepers to be in the right mindset, especially after a spill. And you can see that the initial attempt from Jaheim Williams, which he tried to catch when the free kick came in, it was still weighing on his mind even when the corner kick was coming in. And then a minute after that, another spill. He has to nurture the art of putting those kind of stuff behind him. Has to know how to be present for the next scenario. And I think that's what played in his mind, or on his mind, even while desperately trying not to concede that second your stats that ball had some potential you know probably it was just too far in front of Marshall ignore the call of his keeper there Benjamin Griffiths as I'm sure we'll want to keep this lead intact going into the halftime break. Won't want a repeat of what happened the first time that they took the lead. It was a pretty looping throw in. Comes in, starts to win it back. Yeah, they're trying to generate something here. And uh, they have to do some defending now. Which they will do. Safety first. He's playing at centre back, Alex Xavier Gooden, but does have to de defend the channels pretty often, being that wide centre back on the wide left. Looks as if he actually needs some treatment now, Alex Xavier Gooden. Oh, he appears to be all right. Somewhat. Are coming down a, down a tad bit heavier now. As long as it doesn't get too heavy, it could promote some pretty slick football. Ball over the top, but too far in front of right. Doesn't seem like the speediest player, much like his brother actually. 
haven't seen too much evidence of his touches however just really the goal yeah he's been fairly quiet throughout 14 goals to his name so far this season Adon has lost it Marshall picks it up Levy Marshall gets it back Marshall trying to drive that one inside Hall will have it challenge coming in on Hall and Wilmers here is right it's good covering from Levy mm -hmm. but Duhaney does well yep does well to cover and shield and beat his marker Duane is born inside there was nobody there to assist him the lacks of some quality as well to be fair but he's a hard worker the number seven from Wilmers yeah often collects the ball in pretty deep areas before driving and you can tell why he's been involved in so many goals this season 23 as a matter of fact following his effort today stats with a throw they're trying to move quickly here not clear properly brown putting a foot in there wanting a throw for his team goes the other way probably should have been a throw for say andrew technical White to send this one inside and it's headed away. Duaney trying to get right going, but again, too far in front of his number nine. Williams again shaky at the back and has to put that one into touch. I think that will probably pro prompt a couple of higher Wilmers presses going forward. Right. Did we just see an offside flag going up for a throw in? That's strange. Here's an effort that's just over the top. Wilmer's looking for that third. It's Alex Wright again. Two minutes of stoppages to be played. Atkinson to Hall. Kevin Hall trying to thread that one through. Desperate clearance. Hall gets it again. His shot is charged down. And now he goes the other way. Good defending from J. Lloyd Smith. Doheny tries to spear it through again and might be a little bit uncomfortable for Williams. It isn't. Yeah, the backspin almost cleared him. Brown trying to nod it down to a teammate. Gets through to Marshall. The whistle goes. I think it was a handball call by the referee, but 
not quite sure about that decision either. Nonetheless, here come Wilmers. Adon Day trying to utilize his space here. Scarlett was looking again to play through the lines. Doheny recovering. Look at him all over the pitch. He was on his haunches there. Day. Stats looking for an equalizer before the interval. Atkinson. All trying to turn, but wasn't quick enough. And uh, that's it for the first half. Well, Wilmers, they do lead St. Andrew Technical by the odd goal in three here. And uh, goals from Daquan Dwayne, who's been outstanding, and Alex Wright, proving to be the difference. Christiana Brown for stats had got the equalizer after an effort from Kenada Gordon from distance. Hit him on route to goal. And uh, stats will try to get out of this dilemma. At the interval, stats one, Wilmers two. Wilmers boys leading San Andrew Technical by the odd goal in three as we await the start of the second stanza. Rondaway here at Stadium East. Stats looking to get back into this game. They responded quickly after conceding early in the contest. Then let that slip again to concede a second. Now they are gunning for the second equalizer. And they realize that they have to be sharp in this second half. The Jay Williams is still with me. And I'm sure he thinks the same thing. Yeah, they'll have to start this second half much better than they did the first. Can't allow this man's team, Jerome Wade, to get the upper hand yet again. Especially since they're already chasing the game. Wilmers were impressive in spurts especially to start the game and to end the first half. He actually made it count, those spurts. They created good chances and scored from them. Wilmers who actually finished second in their zone, zone E, to Tivoli Gardens. That's top their group for zone D ahead of Calabar. Before this game, the only team to beat St. Andrew Technical so far this season. But Wilma's looking to replicate that feat. Stats now looking to get back level in this contest. Well defended. I mentioned before that. It in terms of the quality of players that they do have, a number of them returning that have been in similar scenarios. Sandra Technical, their teams of the past would be a fort at the back, really. Wouldn't have been a team which showed a, a lot of attacking intent with the exception of the last couple of seasons. Well, they have come to the party more and more in the attacking third. 
43 goals scored in their 10 group games for St. Andrew Technical. Stats goes down inside the area. The referee has awarded a free kick just outside the area. Yeah, that call had me wondering for a bit. The foul did start outside the area, though. DeAndre Reed tugging on Dwayne Atkinson. So free kick. Coming up for St. Andrew Technical. Here it comes inside. And it goes behind for a corner kick. There was certainly crowding. Oh no, it's a it's a goal kick that has been awarded. Yeah, they were crowding around Dryden there. St. Andrew Technical plays around three or four players in and around the goalkeeper. Yeah, I think the last touch would have come off Giovanni Douglas, you know? Yeah. Stats with a lot of the possession since the halftime interval. Here's a shot. Again, it took a deflection. Off his teammates. Kenara Gordon again in, <laughs> involved with a shot from range. And again, it was Cristiano Brown in the way. At this point, it must be planned. Yeah, must, surely. Gordon, the touch inside. I really like this player, Duaney. There he goes on a, a run before getting into some trouble for winning it back. Duaney. Wins a foul as well. Mm -hmm. Has been a one-man transition machine. Ball carrying certainly his is his forte. The Kwan Duhaney. Uh, if he loses it, he wins it back. Needs some treatment though. Tough challenge coming in. From Keena Levy. Oh, seems to be in some serious pain. Favoring his foot. The defending champions, Mona, up next. In the stands, looking on, waiting for their turn as not a good sign for Wilmers. Yeah. It's his foot that's the issue. They have to play on without him for the time being. Daniel Scarlett behind this set piece. There's delivery. It's a good one, you know. Still an opportunity for Wilmers and Benjamin Griffiths. Griffiths tried to float inside the area. And that goes behind for a corner kick. Yeah, couldn't avoid that one, J. Lloyd Smith. 
Woolman's trying to sustain pressure. It's going to be another opportunity for Daniel Scarlett, whose deliveries have been quite testing so far in this game. He'll be putting in an in-swinging corner here. Here it comes. A good delivery again. And Stats looking to come forward with this now. Oh, should have done much better, Kevin Hall, but he will get another chance here. But doesn't really have the speed. And it's put into touch by DeAndre Reed. Stats will be making a couple of changes now. Kalonji Watson is going to come on. Replacing Delaney White, or Delaney White, I should say. And he gets the captain's armband from White. Kalonji Watson actually scored against Wilmers in that 3 0. No, I beg your pardon, it was actually McCoy Gale, I'm confusing him with was now moved on. The Kwan Duhaney now back on the pitch, but Kalanji Watson did have a very good game that afternoon. Tarin Hall has come onto the park, by the way. And there's the ball inside the area. And try to lay it off into the path of Marshall. Who hasn't really let his presence be felt in a big way so far today. Ajitai Marshall. 11 goals and 5 assists to his name this season. See Andrew Technical's number 10. Only one shot of note so far. Laquan Duhaney back on trying to run off his knock. Hall with a run inside trying to find a teammate. Oh, that's not a bad turn at all. But that's a wonderful challenge coming in from J. Lloyd Smith trying to repeat the process and the flag goes up offside the call so that's number nine terrain hall looking to make an impact already philip williams of course not afraid to make those changes there he is. Not the best of passes there. Gooden will shepherd this one out. Goal kick coming up. There is Ajitai Marshall. He's the one who actually scored in the Walker Cup semi-final last season. He's arguably been saying Andrew Technical's best player this season, but hasn't had too much of an impact so far in this game. They would love if he would come to the party in a big way. Gooden. Hall. Marshall. Still has the ball. Lovely ball, ball inside to Hall. And uh, Dryden has his eyes on it. Kevin Hall with the attempt on that occasion. Yeah. 
Woolman's doing some defending there. That's a, a free kick. Good turn again from Scarlett. He's been a thorn in St. Andrew Technical side, the attacking midfielder. Samuels punts it long. Love a third goal here, but stats looking to get out of their own defensive third and the ball over the top. But Hall with his bandaged knee doesn't have the pace to get by David Morris, who's been really involved at the back for Wilmers in the last couple of minutes. Although he needs some attention now, Morris. if it's a groin issue for him. Wilmer's support in the stands as well as support for St. Andrew Technical. Yeah, just wants to run it off there. David Morris. Sends it inside, headed away. Stats in the attacking third, still trying to work it around. Lovely work around there. Watson touches it inside, but Wilma's defense strong. Stats again coming forward, just out of the reach there it seems of Marshall yep change coming up for Wilmers Damar Smith is going to enter here he'll be making his way on for Alex Wright the man who Gave Wilmers this 2 1 lead. A bit more pace and mobility up front now. Clear that Coach Jerome Waite and his coaching staff thinking about the transition a bit. You're yeah, not quite wanting to settle on this one goal lead. As stats desperately trying to get that equalizer. Watson. Ball coming inside the box. Lovely stuff by Hall. 
the save made by Dryden. Kevin Hall almost looking to add to his four goals this season. Referee continuing with the play. Marshall sends it out wide. Douglas is there. And uh, so to Atkinson. The clash of the 13s over on the far side. And it's going to be a, a throw in. There was the opportunity here. Hall did really well to beat his mark. And then the resulting effort parried away by Dryden. Not sure if he's running smoothly as he was before, Daquan Duane. Yeah, it's clear. I think that that injury is affecting him a bit. Here he is on the ball. Duane does get it back. And uh, trying to ride the challenge. And uh, offside flag is up. Mm. J. Lloyd Smith, though, remains on the turf. There's Craig Butler. Head coach of Mona. Duane goes down again. It's clear that the St. Andrew Technical fans didn't agree with that call. Duane went down under the challenge of Ajitai Marshall. Yeah, I don't think there's a whole lot in that. There's the kick to the edge of the box. Adon Day trying to utilize the opportunity. Still with it. Giovanni Douglas back to do some defending. Did it well. quite as much goal mouth action in the second half in comparison to what we saw in the first expected that however hard for both of these teams to keep up those energy levels throughout the game but it's a real fight that's going on out there both teams not really having their own way in the attack it in the attacking third become a little bit more cagey which has led to a lack of quality I think well that was pretty obvious the foul throw also must remember that this group that both of these teams are in in terms of the round of 16 is what many call, including myself, probably the group of death. The most difficult group, so. Almost went through there, but it does eventually go through. Wilma's looking to go three. Oh, what a challenge that is from Levy. And it's banged out of the box. Didn't have the pace, Adande. It was an excellent recovery as well. But did he need the pace? 
Yeah, it just didn't seem as if he sorted his feet out at that any was point issue. in time. Mm -hmm. I think even taking the shot on early, even if he didn't have the pace to get away from his defender, could have been a better ploy. But almost a huge chance. Well, it was a huge chance for Wilmers to go two goals clear in this one. Yeah, and probably finish it off as a contest, right? Yeah. I was mentioning how difficult this group is when you think about the names. Say Andrew Technical, Wilmers playing right now, and then tomorrow you'll see Casey and Heidel also a part of this group. Group three, so those are teams that one went to the Money Cup final last season in Heidel, the other one went to the semi final. So, a lot of quality in this group, and with only two teams escaping, every point matters, every goal matters in this group. Yeah, every point matters, which Jerome Waite said at the start of the game that they are trying not to lose this game, but being in a position where he can win it now, three points critical in this zone. There is a possibility that you can get two wins and not advance. Kevin Hall. Throwing awarded to Wilmers. Good not liking it at all. Has to run back and defend. Just escaping Duane there. Paul plays it inside. And Atkinson couldn't do a lot with it. Ball over the top. Could be awkward. No, not at all. Real Such composure there from J. Lloyd Smith. Mm -hmm. so Andrew Technical with a lot of possession, but not really creating too much. Let's see what they can do with this. Ball sent out wide. Flag goes up for offside. clear that their plan I think is to overload this near side the right hand side say Andrew Technical and then try and get the ball from right to left as quickly as they possibly can before switching it across again but they're just not doing that quickly enough in my mind I think that's Morris again who is down for Wilmers Former Wilmer's boy. Yeah, Zari there. Usually our floor manager taking an off day to watch his former school today. I'm sure he'll be enjoying proceedings so far. A lot of the Sportsmax employees taking the day off today. Unfortunately, you and I don't have those luxuries, Donald. Well, it's not only that. There, there, there is affiliations could be conflicts of interest you could say of course own producer philip riley not in the producer's seat today he's here to observe his son's team and his son who is also on the bench referee says play on and that they'll do damar smith it's a wrestling match there and uh, smith was never going to get the better of j lloyd Smith. Ball played through. J. Lloyd Smith probably coming off the worst of that duel. Needs a little bit of assistance. It's certainly been a tough game. A hard fought one. There you see Zaheem Clark 
two goals to his name this season. Certainly a fan favorite of the St. Andrew Technical Faithful. Gooden needs a good ball inside the area. That wasn't a bad one. Stats. Moving quickly here. Levy. Now Watson. Watson afforded the space. Couldn't find the pass though. Hasn't been sharp this afternoon, Watson. And not for the first time actually. Adande dropping back doing some good defensive work well here they come again Marshall sends it out wide Gooden gets the return ball Gooden's ball inside and uh, no issues there for Dryden yeah, I mentioned a couple of minutes ago that see Andrew Technical were trying to utilize wing play they've now pushed up one of their center backs Alex Xavier Gooden into that wide channel trying to create an overload because Wilmers are defending with five say Andrew Technical not having that natural overload when they push five so they have to push an extra body forward they've been utilizing Alex Xavier Gooden to do that and trying ball played out wide Douglas is on it Douglas inside trying to get by a second defender unable to do so and Adon Day striding forward but uh winning that foot race was always going to be difficult a little over 15 minutes to go plus time added for stoppages and Wilmers still looking for that third goal here Duaney Adante winning the header and uh, the foul called against Keno Levy. Certainly going to be a card. And it is. Mm -hmm. Adante did really well to win that header and escape his marker before Adante was taken down. Here it is again. He has put in so much running. The long legged, long -legged Adante. He was really dragged down. Two more changes coming up for St. Andrew Technical. We're going to see Kevon Clark and Zaheem Clark. Yeah, we'll be interested to see who they come on for. Just to confirm the yellow card to Keno Levy. The defending champ, that's more high warming up. They're holding off on the changes. Stats for the time being, it seems. Freaky coming up for Wilmers. Let's see what Daniel Scarlett can do here. Scarlett sends it inside at the back post. So he keeps it in unwittingly to Damar Smith. Now Duaney. Duaney. Oh, nice touch inside, but in the end he was stretching for it. Ram Dean. And now it goes the other way. Stats. Looking to make use of this. Marshall again. Looking to thread that through. Hall picks it up. 
then he's lost it. Duaney. Yeah, you can tell that he's still not a hundred. Paul sends it out wide. Opportunity here for stats. And it's deflected behind. Corner kick coming up. They will continue. There's the ball inside the area and the header, but the punch away as well. J. Lloyd Smith trying to be a nuisance inside the box, forcing Andrew Technical. And uh, Stats will now make a couple of changes. J. Lloyd Smith is now coming out. Clark replaces him. Giovanni Douglas is being replaced by Cl Clark, Zaheem Clark. Wilma's also making the change. Bryce Fletcher comes on for Adon Day. Ball coming inside the area at the back post, trying to get a touch there was Terrain Hall. Dryden unable to stop the corner, or stop the concession of the corner, I should say. Another corner kick for St. Andrew Technical. Atkinson's ball inside. And the keeper holds on. Well claimed, you know. Yep. Had to collect it or try to at its highest point, and I think he did that. And uh, a player is down for St. Andrew Technical. I think there was a collision there with Dryden who as he came out to collect it. It's good in that needs the attention. Yeah, he landed awkwardly actually. Nothing too serious for the defender to worry about it seems. Can't go it alone. Clark with the interception. And now here is Clark with the effort. Dryden spills it after making the acrobatic looking save. But to be frank, there wasn't a lot of pace in that shot from Zaheem Clark, I felt. Yeah, made it look a lot more difficult than it was. Was swerving a bit away from him, so had to be full stretch. But I think the claim on the second time of asking was just as important hasn't had too much to do in the second half Yuri Dryden well he may need to do even more Watson goes down play continues Marshall and now here's an attempt that's blocked and stats will recycle it it's all stats for the last few minutes. Douglas. Well, opportunity still for stats. Marshall is there. Challenge went in, but it was clean. 
Watson. Clark will settle for the throw. Wilmers with a, another change here coming up. Benjamin Griffiths is coming out. Jordan Brown comes on to replace him. Brown immediately gets involved here. Foul on the play. Good work by Damar Smith in inviting the challenge. Almost looking to have a, a bit of a spell on their of their own. Good work from Kalanji Watson to break that one up. And he is striding forward, but the referee calling back the play has to go back a few yards though here they come again stats gordon to the edge of the box gets it back gordon what a save by yuri dryden now that is a stop from it, the custodian it had to be done all the way to his left. Oh, that one was sneaking right yes, into that was. corner. Yes, it was. Oh, what a stop. Corner kick coming up. Headed away. Hall to the liver. Floated high, Dryden calls for it. A much easier take. Has had a very solid game, you know, Dryden. The goal that he did concede was really nothing he could do about it. Wicked, wicked deflection. And when he's been called upon, he's looked very solid. What is it about Wilmers and manufacturing? goalkeepers and wicket keepers in particular as well they produced some of the best in both fields over the years Like some Jackie Hendricks and Jeffrey Dujan would be way ahead of their time, right? Lizzie, you, wouldn't, you wouldn't have seen them play personally. Yeah, most definitely. Far for Jamaica far and the West Indies, right? Yeah. Okay. Flag goes up offside against Damar Smith. Again, stats. I was thinking of a speculative effort again. Was that Kenada Gordon? Again, it's a hopeful ball over the top, and it does go through to Damar Smith, holding up play, looking for others. Does get it back, but the flag is up against Damar Smith, and that's a little careless, I felt. Yeah, not alert enough. Probably thought that. Scarlett was going to take on the shot himself, but still has to get himself back on side.
in a sense, both teams have been fortunate in the second half. He has an issue. Seems as if we're going to see one Jalan Riley. Jalen Riley, I beg your pardon. <laughs> Coming in. A part of two changes that Ulmas will be making shortly. So to Romy Henry. Receiving their last instructions. There he is, Jalen Riley. I'm sure his father is here somewhere looking on proudly. Again, not at work today, but doing his duty as a dad in seeing his son come onto the field of play. In short order, though, just to see out the game. Wilmers with the possession, eating up a few more seconds with this spell. Ball goes out wide. Damar Smith. Decides to launch that one inside and held on to by Jaheim Williams. Surprised he didn't keep that one in the corner a bit longer. I, I, I thought that would have been the plan. A reminder that in this round of 16, four groups, two teams from each group will emerge to the quarterfinals. So here are the changes. The Kwandu Haney making his way off for Romy Henry. Jalen Henry also coming in. So Romy Henry is coming on. Yes, Carlet coming out for Jalen Riley. There's the son. There's the mom. Jalen Riley comes on. Seven minutes of stoppages. Yeah. We're one minute in already. It probably will officially start now, I suppose. Yeah. Starts desperate for that equalizer. Nice burst of speed sent out wide. Now, Henry can't get there though. That's a Wilmot's throwing, no? Referee says no. Stats forward. Hall. Interception again. made by Duaney. And uh, couldn't quite gather that one. Damar Smith. Strong challenge coming in. Wilmers defending for their lives right now. Stats may have to come up with something special here. Can't 
Safety first. Morris taking no chances, just putting it into touch. Still quite some time to play in this one. Yeah, it will be ticking slowly for Wilmers, quickly for Stats. Here they are again, looking for that equalizer Stats. Not clear properly. Wilmers though, trying to stride out. Jackson. Got a knock to his face there, did Kevin Hall. Stats moving on with it quickly. Jackson sends it out wide. Here's the ball inside. And attempting to hit it first time was Zaheem Clark. Yeah, went for the acrobatic effort. As we take a look at the Sports Max that moment. And it has to be that save, right? Wonderful effort that came in from Gordon. But Yuri Dryden moving smartly to his left, making the stop. And that's the Sports Max app moment of the game, courtesy of the Sports Max app. Downloaded today from the Google Play Store or the App Store. Here's an opportunity, and they get the equalizer to that to technical. Two two in time added on. And it's Ajatai Marshall. He said that every point was necessary. Wilmers were defending as if their lives depended on it. That was some good work, and it's a substitute. Zaim Clark teeing up Ajatai Marshall for a tap in his 12th of the season. And that's a crucial, crucial goal for the season of St. Andrew Technical and Wilmers they'll feel so hard done by after what has been such a good performance Stats Now back on level terms, may be thinking about the winner. Opportunity coming for Wilmers, but the, the flag goes up. Last chance coming up for St. Andrew Technical, I would assume. It's launched forward for Hall. But weren't there two balls on the field, but Hall is through. Challenge coming in. The referee waving it away. Or has he? No, he's pointed to the... No, it's a free kick outside the area. Drama. Well, that's a lot of confusion here. First, there were a couple of balls on the field. And then they took the kick quickly. And then this challenge here, rightly outside the box. Yeah. Definitely outside the box. But should that goal kick even been allowed to be taken? No, it shouldn't have. It wasn't even supposed to have been a goal kick. It was taken at the right spot, but there was a second ball which was on the field. It's, it's just pure confusion. But at least ultimately the right decision at this point in time was made. Stats now have a free kick. It's good. Can he come up with a winner here? The three-man wall set up by Wilmer's boys. Final seconds of this contest. Stats looking for the winner. It goes high and wide, not quite handsome. The wall did its job. Mm. Marco, 
The chances keep coming for St. Andrew Technical. What a drama-filled game this has been. There's Zabir Taylor watching on. His team's first second round game will be tomorrow against Campion College. But until then, he's watching what has been a lovely game here. Corner coming in. Kevin Hall with the delivery inside. Keeper gets there just. And it's banged up field by Wilmers. Play continues according to the referee. Adding even more time. Can Stats get something here? Hall. Throw coming in for Stats. They may be thinking of the long throw, but they don't have a lot of time. There's a long throw inside the box. Referee has seen enough now. That's the end of the game. And both teams share the spoils. At 2-2. Uh, Disappointing, though, for the Wilmers contingent because they were leading that one until late and they did concede in stoppage time and uh, at the end four goals equally shared and stats would take this draw with some glee uh, Wilmers would feel that they have dropped points here at the national stadium east Full time, 2-2 between St. Andrew Technical and Wilmer's boys.